Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 3 of the Saloon Build. So in this episode, I'm going to focus on dismantling the structure, um, taking all the framing lumber apart, and uh, stacking it, and yeah, hopefully most of it's usable. So first thing I want to do is work on taking these pieces off. I don't know what they really are, I think they just strengthen... Uh, the bottom plate because when this is full of grain there's obviously a lot of pressure. Um, the grain pretty much behaves the same, virtually the same as the aqueous solutions. You have to kind of imagine these buildings being full of water, that's why there was those uh, rods to hold it all together. So I'm going to go and dismantle just those little things until I just have some two by fours. Now, like in a lot of situations, I think the Burke bar is going to be the most appropriate for the job. Get that because they put a lot of nails in these things. Oh, that one's only got two in it, of course. Oh, and then there's all these. Some of the lumber on this side might be a little rotten. The bottoms of these look a little bit rotten, but the actual stud itself is just fine. So just cut off the bottoms and we'll have some awesome lumber. And of course the ones on this side don't have very many nails. The ones I was pulling off over there were just pounded with nails. This Burke bar makes life so easy. This is virtually effortless. And I don't know what's going on here with all this one by. That's just peppered with nails. Dad came right out of there. is actually the fun part, actually dismantling the building. Oh, this one's got a lot of nails in it. That's why. <laughs> and then these angled portions on the corners. I'm assuming that was just to prevent the grain from spilling out the corners of the building. I better take this 
so first. You get the point. I'll get the rest of these out and check back in. So I guess what I can do next is start from the top down and go and take, I left one piece of sheathing on just to hold these rafters up. Holy, this is wobbly. I was afraid that it was going to be like this. Now if I pull this off... Hmm. We're going to have to figure out a different plan here. So running into a bit of an issue here with the wind and with the strength of this building. So after a little bit of thinking on how I'm going to dismantle this here, I've decided I'm just going to pull it down with my truck. And what that will entail is just hooking up to this rope here, putting these two tow ropes together, and just pulling it right over. So I think that's the safest option. And if I don't take it down, the wind is going to. So I better just get this down, get it on the ground, and then the lumber will be a lot easier to disassemble. So I'll start by pulling this strap because I don't think it's actually doing a whole lot anyway. And then I better take this out before I drive over it. I'll do that later. space between this falling building and my truck. That'll give me 40 feet. Holy, that is shaking. Could probably just pull it over by hand. <laughs> okay, I'll wait to undo that strap until I'm actually hooked onto it and ready to go. So I guess... pull up there. Can I see the end of my strap? Maybe right there. Hook that on there. Pull ahead just a little bit. See in the mirror when it comes tight. Just tight enough so it won't fall that way and I can still undo this strap. Can I undo this strap? Yeah, that's going. <laughs> If I would take this right off, it would just fall that way. But I don't want it to fall that way because my uh, lumber and stuff is over there. So, I will go for it, I guess. All right, here we go. Forgetting anything that I'm gonna rack. See if we 
can watch this through the mirror. There she goes. That thing is down. Ooh, that was kind of fun. Did I break much? I sure hope not. Oh, I broke my ladder. That's nice. Okay, well this is gonna be a lot safer to disassemble now, looks like. Yeah, okay good. I didn't really break a whole lot of lumber. I was afraid of doing that. We'll still have lots of usable stuff here. Well, that went pretty well. Um, only broke a few pieces, but I don't know. A lot of those could have broken by me trying to disassemble them way up in the air anyways. Who knows? This was probably the safest option. Now I can kind of do everything safely on the ground. And it should just be a lot easier. So I'm just going to go home for tonight. It's past 7.30, so kind of get hungry and tired and everything. So I will be back to start disassembling the framing lumber. Um, either tomorrow or the next day or whenever. All right, so I'm back here today. Prairie Dunker's with me. Uh, I helped him on his basketball court, so he's helping me on this project. So what we're gonna do today is basically just kind of disassemble all this, pull the nails out of it, and stack it over on those trestles. Alright, so the prairie dunker helped me for a little bit, but he took off. He kind of ripped the roof down and stacked some more of this, but now I'm just kind of working on the tedious part, just pounding out all these nails. There's a lot of them here. So I basically just pick up a board and then pound all the nails out. Some of them are so bent, which is just awesome. But oh well, that's what you have to do to get free lumber. It involves a little extra work, but in reality, your time isn't worth a penny. So me doing this is in reality saving me money. I just go around and pull them out with whatever means necessary. Some of them are harder than others, they're kind of rusted in there, but for a nice solid fur 2x4, a few minutes is probably worth it. Uh, that went pretty well. Uh, got all the nails pulled. 
out of the framing lumber i'd say probably about 80 percent of this will be usable like a lot of it the ends are split and stuff so those pieces will just have to be cut for window trimmers or whatever um, but these are eight foot studs and the bottoms are a little rough so I'll probably make the walls about seven foot six or so and that'll leave me with enough solid lumber and then shiplap is all stacked up um, you know I just threw pretty much all of it on here I threw some in the firewood pile but obviously this is way more than I'm gonna need so obviously I'll cut the rotten ends off and only use the solid stuff um, but right now I'm gonna probably sweep this off it looks like this is actually tongue and groove so that should be just awesome to take apart but um, yeah I'll uh, sweep this off and then head home Well, it's 8 o'clock already, uh, so I better go home. Uh, I'll let the wind kind of deal with this, get the rest of the dust off. Maybe I'll bring my blower tomorrow and uh, get rid of it that way if it doesn't rain. But if it's not raining, I'll be back here tomorrow. If not, I'll be back whenever. Well, I hope you enjoyed episode 3. Episode 4 will involve disassembling this floor and getting this lumber uh, loaded up in the trailer and ready to go to the lake. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and we'll see you next time. Stay healthy everyone. Pretty much a whole building here. Probably load all of this. I don't think. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk here. I can't imagine that that would be seven thousand. Yeah, that's probably like two or three thousand, maybe. Yeah, I think. I think we could. We could load all this. Mm -hmm.